Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, glad to have you here as always. As you can see here, we are going back to the Bionicle theme. Um, I've already done the 2001 Toas, the original six, and if you haven't seen those videos, uh, feel free to go check them out. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have any of the other sets from the 2001 line, so we're just going to have to keep moving forward with the 2002 Toa Nuva line. This one specifically is Tahu Nuva, set number 8572, had 36 pieces, and originally retailed for $7.99 USD. Uh, currently, there are 120 listed on BrickLink in various states of incompleteness, uh, between 6 and $7, and then other various states of completeness, uh, ranging between 10 to about $35. Uh, there are seven sealed listings, uh, going from between $141 and $202. Uh, if you find this on eBay, most of the ones I saw go about $20 to $30, uh, various states. And then I could only find one sealed listing, and it was $145, so it's pretty comparable to the BrickLink pricing. Um, as you can see, this looks quite a bit different from the original Tahu. But it is also very, very similar. Um, uses the same coloring, which is nice. Same torso, same feet. Um, one of the arms is the same, at least. Um, but they do have a bunch of new molds for these. Most obvious, of course, is the silver armor and weapons. You can see, it's pretty cool looking swords. I do, I do like the chest piece. At, the shoulders are a little big, in my opinion. These are definitely kind of bulky in comparison. I'm just going to leave this first one over here. Um, there's not really a lot to say about the, the Nuvas, because they are essentially the exact same as the originals, just a slightly updated version of it. Um, like I said, they've got new molds for uh, specifically the legs, and the weapons and the armor and the mask. Everything else, essentially the same thing. Uh, there are some other small details that I will go over. Uh, I just want to point out, I don't really like the, the masks. And I'll show the other, uh, other five when I do their videos, but these masks feel super thick, you know? They're kind of bulky. I feel like they were trying to just put too much into them. Let's see here. Like, I mean, they're basically the same thickness, but because they have all the waves and the curves, it feels like it's physically thicker. I greatly prefer the original Tahu mask. But, you know... That's what they wanted to go with. <sighs> you can see he is kind of taller. Those legs are longer. They have the same functionality. This, the With the gears, except now this Tahu has both arms that move because he is dual wielding. And then to show you some of the differences here. In these instructions, you show that he takes his swords off and uses them as a surfboard, which is kind of neat. That's kind of a uh, recurring theme with the second line of Toas. A lot of foot weapons. But then I wanted to show you something else here. So you have alternate building instructions here where you're able to take one of the gears out and switch it to a one arm motion with the uh, the gears, and then they just have you put the extra pieces back there. Um, it does come with extra pieces, so not only do you get an extra building uh, option, you get some extra pieces. This is for making one arm swing, and then this one is for the big jumbo toa thing that you make just like the originals 
you take three of them and build them together into a basically a megazord um and those take these extra ball joints poopy uh that's why they include those with this new line so not only do you get extra build options but you get uh some extra pieces that you didn't have in the original um because i mean you see the, the ball joint here that's just the decorative version but here I don't know if it is decorative when they do the big build. It might not be. It might just be decorative. I'm actually not seeing it in here on this picture. I don't see any of those ball joints. Um, but I wanted to point out that if you do put that on there, you take the gear out and the the three bar, stick it in the, the axle back there, and then you take you take the bushing off and you put that there. But then you just have a, a bushing sitting somewhere. And so it's not exactly the most streamlined idea they had. Um, and yeah, it's cool. It's new I mean, in comparison. It was the next year. Everything, was, you know, everything got upgraded. You got to have it hip. And, um, honestly, I do prefer the original line over the Nuvas. The Nuvas are cool, but they don't have the same charm as the original Toa. Uh, the canister here. A lot more color. I don't have the original ta Tahu canister. Um, I mean, there's no gimmicks here. There's no sliding slip cover it's all just a sticker it is clear though so it was a lot cooler to see your toe your pieces on the inside but i honestly still prefer the originals um yeah and then of course you can get all the new masks in each of their colors uh there's not much to say about the toa nuvas uh, so with that, I will end this video and I will be doing the others soon. So look forward to that. See you guys.